I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about my offering that is sponsored by Oslo Yoga um, and is really an excursion into the many aspects of the IRS praxis, um, dressed up as a harbor cruise. And why, why do I use that? Why do I use that metaphor, harbor cruise? When I stayed in Germany last time during my stay when I'm teaching in Europe, um, I had a little apartment near the Elbe River. And there is a location where ships and freighters that come from all kinds of distant lands come in through the river into the harbor in Hamburg and are being greeted as they come in and as they leave. And this place is called the Welcoming Court, Welcome Heft. And I thought, what a wonderful me metaphor to what we two do in this uh, meditation practice. We allow everything to arrive in the field of consciousness and we allow ourselves to be present with emotions and thoughts and feelings, physical sensations without trying to fix or change or alter or in any way try to make them other than they are. And that is really groundbreaking um, to just simply welcome whatever arises without any attempt to change it. How often have we experienced that we are with a friend or family member or somebody where we're talking about what is going on in our lives and the person right away comes in and says, you know, gives some kind of advice or, oh, you shouldn't be feeling this. Why didn't you try this? Have you tried that? And all of a sudden we feel like it's shutting down the process. We don't get to really be who we are. We're supposed to be over there when we're here. And that creates division, it creates separation and the whole idea of yoga is that we are already whole and connected and complete. We don't need to be any other than we are. All we need to do is to basically move the furniture out of the way so we can see and feel more clearly what is already here, what is ready to unfold. And for me, this is a very, very important piece of the practice. And I watch again and again how this piece follows me and follows the people I work with into their lives. All of a sudden, they notice that this perspective shift that welcoming creates, the different way of looking, surprises them in their lives. All of a sudden, they are being, reacting differently. They go at different route in their nervous system. So you have to imagine over time, certain, certain patterns have evolved in our nervous system, certain synaptic connections have formed. And so the more we go through that route, the more fortified, the more strong and the more uh, dominant they get. With eye rest, we are beginning to establish a parallel track under the habitual route a pale track of how to be with ourselves, with the world and with whatever we are experiencing. And if we walk this track, walk this pathway often enough, the other one, the original old track will be overgrown and no longer used. There's a new synaptic connection that will take over the way, how we perceive, how we act and how we are present in our lives and with each other. Honestly, I think this is groundbreaking because it's really a form of political activism. If we all learn how to welcome ourselves and each other, there would be way more kindness and compassion and love in the world. And that's why it is so important for me to teach this. And that's why I hope you may wanna join me and come attend with me the Rehaba Cruise and make it a fun experience Bye-bye. Thank you.